Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, RFID and I'm going to talk about this component in particular um, working with Arduino and I will show a um, simple example how you can uh, how you can use it. So RFID is kind of a cousin of NFC. That's the possibility to read uh, from uh, an object uh, which has a chipset included within it with uh, a reader, which is the one that you can see uh, right now in front of you. Uh, just to let you know, it's pretty cheap uh, to purchase one of those. As you can see, it just costs 70 cents on uh, AliExpress. And when you get it, so it's not um, detailed here. I, I have no idea if they include it within this specific product, but for mine, I got as well uh, the different objects, so the cards and the badge. Uh, so I get a full set such as the one that you can see uh, over here in order, of course, to start to play with your RFID reader. This video is not about uh, long distance uh, RFID. So uh, here is one example of uh, RFID uh, long distance. Um, so as you can see, the chipset is here and probably the reader is over here. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's far more expensive to do long distance uh, RFID. I'm just showing the uh, small distance one, which of course is the equivalent somehow to NFC. Um, about the thing that you need uh, to know, there are great uh, video tutorial and uh, yeah, you see this given card on which um, you can play with the RFID. As you can see, if you put it on uh, under the light, you will see that there is a, a chipset over here. By the way, this link, this video is very variable. There's a lot of things explaining you uh, what, are, uh, what is RFID and how complicated it can be, or at least how complete it can be. In my case, it's gonna just be uh, very, very, very simple. So um, here is my um, Arduino card, Arduino Uno card. I get my my white card over here, and here is my my RFID reader. Um, I thought it would be a mess actually to connect, and that I would get through a lot of bugs. I didn't actually. Um, I just plugged it in, and it works right away. The most difficult part was uh, to actually to melt the different uh, branches over here, but I succeed. Uh, to figure it out because they give it to you uh, without uh, the branches plugged on it so you have to uh, melt them on the card and then in order to make the wiring I just look through the uh, Arduino code um, and then I succeed in making the wiring fine okay so uh, now let's make a, a demo so in order to do a demo I'm just gonna come back uh, come back over here and um, so within Arduino uh, what you need to have is the right library. So in order to get the life library, just go over here. And uh, so uh, you go, you go over here. Uh, you go on libraries and on libraries, you have manage libraries. And here you just type within the name of uh, the component. So in my case, it's RC522, RC522. And then you will see that you have uh, different libraries. In my case, I installed this one. And once you install this one, then you get under file and under um, examples, you get the MFRC522 uh, uh, script example. And the one I'm going to play with are the um, right personal data. So I'm going to uh, just load this one. Um, you can read, uh, it's fully written in English. It's kind of understandable. It's just that this script is kind of long, which uh, seems kind of complicated. But um, in our case, what we're going to do is that uh, I'm just going to look through this one. Okay, you see, it's written ask uh, personal um, personal data family name. In fact, what this script is doing once it's plugged on uh, Arduino is that it's going to ask you through the console your family name, and like this, you will be able to put data within it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to upload this given uh, script on my card. It's not working because I didn't select my card. So I'm going to select it uh, as port, so this one. I'm going to upload it. <clears throat> OK, now the script is uploaded. So if I look through the console, I will see that they are asking me uh, to write personal data on, uh, on an object. So I need to have an object. And in my case, uh, this object is the given card that you can see here. So I'm going to use this card and I'm going to pass it uh, near the RFID like the RFID like this. Okay. And uh, so if I if I pass it, 
Okay, and if I move back to my screen, as you can see, it recognized uh, the UID card and it's asking me um, to add my family name. So I'm going to add my uh, family name. I'm going to let my card on the RFID. So my, my family name is Cardano, and then they're asking me uh, to validate this with uh, an hash. So I'm going to put an hash like this. And here it's telling me, okay, I failed in communication. So probably I have not been uh, fast enough. So I'm going to do it like this and again like this. Okay, so authentication failed again. So I'm going to pass my card again on it. So, oops. Okay, card seems to be fine. And then Okay, so here as you can see, it's written uh, success, so it means uh, that it worked. And um, now, in order to read the information, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click here on file, I'm going to go back on samples, sample, I'm going to go for uh, the read example, I'm going to upload it. Okay, so now what's going to happen is if I so move back over here. So now if I pass my uh, card near the RFID, so this is what I'm, I have from my side. Actually, if I look through the console, it's telling, okay, read personal data. Okay, and uh, if I go back over here and I pass my card like this, and if now I move back uh, to the screen, as you can see, it's saying, hey, your name is, and that's my family name, and that's the end of reading. And that's everything that I wanted to uh, show you about uh, RFID. So it's all about uh, a script that you inject within your Arduino card. On this given uh, script, uh, you can write whatever you want. Um, you can, I mean, you, yes, you can write whatever you want in order for your card uh, to be get those data and then once those data are within the card then you can start to read the data so typical use case is you can have many cards uh, within your uh, within your company with uh, personal data on it and then people need to uh, pass the cards through the RFID reader in order to know if they get access to uh, specific uh, things uh, of your facility such as uh, opening doors and, and so on and so forth and that's everything that I wanted to show you about a simple example for RFID Arduino. Thanks for watching.